Ever tried to start a powerful bike engine only to feel like you're wrestling a bear just to turn the crank? The solution might be simpler than you think, and it's all thanks to the unsung hero of the engine world, the compression release valve. Sounds complicated? Stick around, by the end of this video, you'll see how this tiny valve makes your bike's engine feel like a breeze to start, even when it's a beast under the hood. This is the third video in our automotive valve series. If you're curious about how key components keep your engine running at peak performance, check out the full playlist in the description below. How compression release valve works in bike engine. Alright, let's dive into it. If you're riding a high-performance motorcycle or any bike with a larger engine, you might have noticed a unique feature. When starting your bike, it sounds a little like a gentle thunk or pop before it roars to life. That sound? It's the compression release valve working its magic, and today, we're going to break down how exactly it does that. Picture this, your engine is a powerhouse. It's crammed with high-pressure air, especially when the piston is in the compression stroke, meaning it's pushing that air-fuel mix into a tiny space. If you don't have a compression release valve, trying to turn that crank would be like trying to push a truck up a hill. Not fun. Here's where the magic happens the compression release valve temporarily releases the pressure in the cylinder, making it way easier for the starter motor to turn over the engine. That's right, this little valve helps your starter motor do the heavy lifting, and all it takes is a quick, well-timed release of pressure at just the right moment. Here's a step-by-step -step breakdown of how compression release valve works. When you push the start button or kickstart your bike, the compression release valve opens briefly during the compression stroke. This allows some of the air in the cylinder to escape, reducing pressure that's normally built up in the cylinder is released through the valve, making it significantly easier for the starter motor to turn the engine over. Once the engine begins to fire, the compression release valve closes on its own, allowing the engine to build up full compression once again. This entire process happens in a fraction of a second, and it's almost always automatic in modern motorcycle engines. Now, where is this valve located? In most motorcycles, it's found within the camshaft or rocker arm assembly, right around the upper part of the engine. It's controlled by a system that detects the right moment to activate and deactivate the valve, ensuring that the engine doesn't skip a beat. What is a compression release valve in a motorcycle? It's a mechanical valve that temporarily reduces compression in the engine during startup, making it easier to turn the engine over. A lifesaver for those with bigger engines or bikes with high compression ratios. Do all motorcycles have a compression release valve? Not all of them, but most larger motorcycles, especially those with high-performance engines, use a compression release valve. It's particularly common in four-stroke engines where compression levels are much higher. How does a compression release valve help starting a motorcycle? By reducing the pressure in the cylinder, it lightens the load on your starter motor and makes turning the engine over much easier, especially when you're dealing with a powerful engine. Can a compression release valve fail? Like any mechanical component, the compression release valve can fail, though it's rare. If it does fail, you might notice your bike becoming much harder to start, requiring more effort from the starter motor. If it's not releasing the compression, that means you're doing all the hard work instead of the engine doing it for you. 